The historical day, February 12th Arius. It's time to start the test match. Memorable day for many players. But not for all. Due to the injury Sri Lanka had to keep away their inform anchor man Asimka Guru Singha. He had five sticks in his finger. Due to that Sanath Kalyuparuma was selected to play. It was a beautiful morning to play cricket. After winning the toss border decided to bat first. So, two officials Mr. Peter McConnell and Mr. Robin Balhash walks to the middle to start the game. Australian captain Alan Border won the toss and had no hesitation in batting. And it's Ravi Ratnayaka. Jeff Marsh on strike and just the two men on the onside. Shot of the day, shot of the morning, David Boone racing out to the extra cover boundary. Magnificent strike by David Boone away from the diving Kalupa Ruma. Magnificent strike by Marsh. Out to the backward point boundary. The locals love it, and that was a fine. Ramanaika from the river end. Mr. Marsh. Loves that stroke. Set it a number of occasions. It could reach the boundary. And the Australian opening combination just one away from the half century. Magnificent delivery from Ramanaika. He's gone down to the boundary. In fact, he's a leg by. That one's in the air, racing down towards the fence. Perfectly safe shot. And another boundary for Jeff Marsh. Down past third man. Another boundary to Marsh. He's fourth. Oh, it's dropped. He got a hand to that. Brilliant piece of fielding. a spectacular piece of feeling there by Karupu almost yes. providing a wicket well that would have been a sensation so this is a a real surprise for Kelly Peruma who wasn't scheduled to play in this game certainly enjoying the opening stage of this test match there's the hundred Australia and further runs to Boone through cover. Emmeline the chaser. That's the half century for Boone, a magnificent way to bring it up. Mightn't go to the boundary, the chase is on for Mahanama. They've come back for three, so that'll be enough for David Boone. He's thinking about four, it's not on. And so David Boone goes to 50, shows it to his teammates. Once again, the opening stand. There's his 50. Boone has to work hard. He's quite happy. His partner's picked up a half century. And the home crowd with Jeff Marsh. A warm round of applause on a hot day at the Wacker. In the air, but quite safe. Way out through the third man area. Flourish from David Boone. Oh! Bowl him! Didn't seem to be much jubilation from the Sri Lankans, but they're certainly very pleased as Marsh has been bowled. And the first wicket is down. And here's that swinging ball. The ball pitched up ball. Swinging in from outside the off stump, and that's the ball that's troubled both these players this morning. And there was very clear evidence of that ball swinging in the air, swinging very late and just coming off uh, Jeff Marsh's boot and rolling onto the stump. So a vital breakthrough there. David Boone on 64. Bowled oh. him! Now whether that came off Boone's pad, we'll have to wait and see. But another wicket here for Sri Lanka. Australia 2 for 133. Yes, and I just think David Boone just lost a little bit of concentration there too. Alan Borders off the mark. Magnificent stroke by Border. Four from the time it left the bat. Jones has found the gap beautifully. That's 4-2.
Lovely timing. Two for 151. He got that one all right. Brilliant bit of fielding. Mahanama, great bit of fielding that square leg. He looks a bit tired. He's thrown himself all over the place and sprinted all over the WACA ground, but uh, his fielding has been a real highlight today. Yes, a lovely shot from Border. He brought that ball down beautifully, but look at that diving save. And Kalupa Ruma will be the bowler. Well placed. Clever play. Ramanaka completed two. Ramanaka's got a strong arm. At the moment. Beautiful strike by James, just leaning into it. That's a magnificent strike. And once again, Karupu's got a chase all the way out to the boundary. They might have run for, and it teased him all the way. Ameline continues his spell. And Jones away from Aravinda de Silva. I think it'll have the legs to long chase for the uh, Sri Lankan. It'll make it. In, in motion. Ah! Heel for court behind. Border finds the gap. Aravinda won't cut that one off. And that's his 50. This time, Aravinda, again super fielding. He's dynamite, that little man. 50 for Dean Jones. Balled him. Well, Ratnaka solves the problem for his side. Alan Border doesn't get his century. He deserved one, but well bowled by Ravi Ratnaka. And Alan Border is furious with himself. But Alan Border is out, and Australia are three for 289. Yes, and he gets an inside edge on here, a very wide delivery, Border going after it. Probably not getting his foot to the pitch of the ball, getting an inside edge, and that's probably the only one of the ones. Straight down the ground again. That takes him off the devil's number, thank you very much. That one's through too. Four more. Jones wants his hundred before start. Well, he might get him out here. A man getting underneath it. And Jones has been dropped. And that's his hundred. What a way to do it. Tilika Ratna has spilled a very difficult chance. Jones has completed two to register his third test century. Yes, and you notice as he runs up there, he hangs his head. He knows he's mistimed the ball. Tilika Ratna running back with the ball and getting two hands to it and just despairingly falling out of the reach at the last minute. Well, it is Australia who dominated the whole three sessions of the day. At the end of the play they were 333 for just three wickets. Sri Lankan bowlers no match for world champions batting talent. There were 350s and a century scored during the day. Dean Jones continue his fine batting form and scored a magnificent century latter part of the day. With a beautiful Yoker Labru he breaks the initial partnership. Ravi took two wickets but none of the others were lucky enough to grab a wicket today. Well, that concludes the day.